Welcome to Linux in the Shell, Episode 3, Cut Command. My name is Dan Washko, I'll be your host today, and again, I encourage you to head over to the website and read up on the command before you actually watch these examples, because all I'm going to be showing are some examples of using the cut command. Cut command is a very basic command, one of the oldest from Unix, and essentially what it does is it accepts a file or takes input from a stream and cuts it up, cuts that stream up based on certain parameters and gives you sections of that stream. So for instance, if I were to say echo one, two, three, four, five, right there and hit enter, it's going to echo that out. But if I wanted to use the cut command, I can cut those on characters and say, give me characters one and two. And what we get then is just one and two, the first two characters. I can go one, two, and three, which gives you the first three characters. I could use a range like that and give me cuts one, two, three. So that's a basic use of the cut command. Now, I also have a few files in here. One is a text file, .txt. So those have three lines in it. And so if I use the cut command on those and do the same thing, one to three, for C for characters on that file, I think it's text.text, .text, you will see that I get three lines here. One, two, three, A, B, C, T, H, I. That's the first three characters of that file. Now, subsequently, I can specify, instead of characters, I can specify bytes with the bash B. Essentially, characters and bytes are going to produce the same kind of output, unless you're working in a multi-byte character set. Because generally, in you know a single-byte character set, one character equals one byte. So dash C for characters, one character is almost equivalent to one byte in this case. So if I were to do dash one to three on this with the dash B, getting the bytes, I get the same results. So notice that I can specify individual fields, for instance, one comma three text dot txt, or I can specify a range like I did there before with one to three. I can also specify a range in this way, one, or let's go with dash to three, which gives me every line from the first character, or first byte in this case, to the third byte. I can do the reverse of that, b3 dash text.txt, which is going to give me the third character to the end of the line. So basically that's what the text com cut command can do, is cut it on characters or bytes, and there's one more delimiter that it can, it can cut on, and that's fields. And fields, by default, are separated by the tabs. But if you're not, you can specify the delimiter by using the D command and put in your delimiter. I'm going to use a comma and fields, again, 1 to 3. But this time I'm going to use the test.csv file. And notice it's going to delimit, use a del comma as a delimiter and give me the first three fields of the test.csv. I'll show you the full test.csv. So notice that it says cat, uh, dog, fish. You know, and then it has the the full one down below, so you see what it cut there. Subsequently, I can do the same thing: cut d, comma, fields, three to the end of test.csv, and I get fish, lizard, rat, snake. You get the last, the three to the end. Now, let's look at this: vi test.csv, and let's put a line in here that says. This is where they live and eat. Now, there's no delimiters in here, that, so to speak of. So if I do a cat test.csv, you'll see that there is no delimiter at all on this line. Um, so if I use the delimiter, the default delimiter right there, cut three to the end, my results may not be what you expect. I'm going to get three to the end where the lines have delimiters, but where they do not have delimiters, I'm going to get the full line. So just be aware of that. Also, if I didn't want that behavior, I can do the option S, which is to suppress the output of lines that don't have the delimiter, and I get kind of what I expected to get in the first place. So remember, field works on tabs, so if I did 1 to 3 on test.csv, I'm getting everything because I don't have tabs in my file, so delimiter is a good thing to use. Another option that you have with fields that you don't have with characters and bytes. So if you do cut 
H. Oop, cut, help. There is the option to do the output delimiter. So I can change the output delimiter on the output. Notice that when I did cut, let me go back up here, cut fields 1 to 3 with the comma or through the end of CSV, it still contains those delimiters right there of the comma. I can change the delimiter, well I'm going to leave the S in there, by passing output delimiter equals and change it to, I can put it in quote double quotes if I want or I don't have to but I like to do that in double quotes equals the colon and when I hit enter it changed all the commas to colon so that's a pretty handy feature of the cut command right there if you really needed to change things um, that's pretty much it except for one more thing let's look at the other option I can do which is complement what the complement is going to do is going to produce the opposite of what I originally cut. So instead of getting, in this case, everything from field 3 to the end, I'm going to get everything from the beginning to field 3, before field 3. So the complement is just the first two fields. See that? And you can use complement with byte too. So if I had echo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, well, we're not going to do 10, we'll do 0. And I did cut C 1 to 5 and hit enter I'm going to get the first 5 but if I did complement I'm going to get 6 through 0 see that cut command very basic very simple very versatile it can be very helpful in cutting different streams up check it out if you haven't read the website head over to linksintheshell.org check it out and get the full write up on the cut command but it's pretty basic thanks a lot for listening and we'll see you again later